Bonjour, no. Welcome to Day to Day with Ray. You like that intro? <laughs> so, I haven't really made any videos because I have been terribly sick with a cold this past week since my birthday. I've actually had a little sore throat and stuff. And um, I still kind of have it a little bit. It's not as bad as it was, but my nose is like really sore from just like gently wiping because God forbid if I blow my nose. But I have been a little naughty and I have been like gently blowing it like yeah <laughs> but um uh oh close so um anyway so the whole purpose of this video is I finally got my ipsy bag finally got my ipsy bag um so what happened was I saw everybody was getting it and then I got an email saying you know to rate my bag and I didn't want to open it um, so I think I kind of know what's in here but I'm not sure because I never went back and checked the email and I have the memory of a flea anyway so um, I had to email them because I'm like look dude I never got my bag and they're like well it says here it was delivered I'm like never got it so it, a couple emails went back and forth and they shipped me out a new one with tracking so here it is, just walked down to the mailbox to get it. I actually did cross out my address just in case y'all got a flash of it. So here we go. God damn. That is some super duper glue. All right, so what we got? We have our card. And it says Rebel, Rebel by Ipsy. Can you see that? It says, tag Ipsy says you're it. Misfits, rule breakers, badass babes. The riot starts this June. We're hitting the streets with serious sizzle and signature looks. Sorry, fire thing. Coloring outside of the lines is encouraged. Sitting on the side of the lines is not. What's, oh, this is going to show my age. Y'all remember two snaps and around the world. And live in color. Right there. So there's this. Oh, gosh. Now the whole Calvary wants to come. You can't see, but I got the kitten coming now. See, there she is. Get out of here, please, miss. Say, Luna. Do you everybody want to see Luna? Say hi. Hi. All right, get the hell out of here. All right, look at the bag. It's so cute. It's graffiti. And then there's the back. This bag is so cute. I love, I love this bag. Hold on, I need a drink. I'm a bit parched. Nice lemon water. Okay, so let's see what's in our bag. All right, so let's see. Ooh, dirty little secrets. Ooh, what is this? Baked highlighter. Um, <laughs> excuse me, sir. Nothing for you. Ooh, this is pretty. I don't know if you can see that how well you can see it. Dirty little secret. This is pretty. How's it open? Okay. Ooh, I'm gonna take a little. Oh, wow, look at that color on my finger. Look at that, do you see that? That is pretty right there. Let me say. Please excuse my scratched up hands. Look at that. Can you see it? It's like really. I'm gonna put it on my face. Haha. -ha. That is so pretty. There is it. It's called a baked highlighter. That is like really pretty. I I would put that on my eyeballs. I would. I would. All right. So what is this? This is a makeup brush, and I'm going to take it out of the bag. Oh, I guess I didn't hold it up for you, did I? All right, this is a Royal and Lang Nickel Crease and Smudge Brush. It's a very pretty color. I like It's very soft. I like that a lot. Let's see, what is this? This is a Patchology Flash Mask, 5-Minute Facial Sheets. 
illuminate bright and dull skin that's here's what this looks like what does it say on the back it says the real glow getter doll is a four little word illuminate flash mask five minute facial sheets give new life and luster to your complexion you'll look luminous in less time i'm gonna look luminous um, unfold the mask and apply to a clean, dry skin. Place over your entire face. Press in the material snugly in the facial contour. Leave on for five minutes or longer if desired. Discard and massage any excess serum into the skin. No need to rinse. Hmm. I might try this tonight when I take my shower. Because I want to look luminous. Mm-hmm. You know, I've never actually got into face masks. I, um, there was actually one when I was growing up, it was this green one, and I actually used to get it from the dollar store, and it would be so tight, and I just remember my, oh my gosh, but it was like really minty, and it kind of, I don't know if it had menthol in it or not, but it would like burn, of course, I guess that's what you get from the dollar store masks, but, okay, what is this? Ooh, Urban Decay, I got something from Urban Decay. It's called Lounge Eyeshadow. Let's open this up. Oh my goodness, really? This cat. Oh, it's just like, it's just one little, oh no, no. Come on, get out of here. Here, go play with this. All right. It's just, this is just one little teeny tiny thing. One little teeny tiny pot. I actually did the um, one time I made that DIY when you depot the eyeshadows and you put them in the DVD case. I have to show that to you one day. Ooh, this is pretty. Ooh, can you see that? It changes color. It's like so. Yeah. Oh. Here's the pot. Can you, I don't know how well you can see that. It looks weird, but then when you put it on, let me see if I could do one on this side. Look at, like I don't know how well you can see that. It's so shiny and irritating. Look at my finger still. It's like, I don't know, that's weird. This kitten drives me crazy all day. Let me tell you. What does this say? It doesn't even say a color. Urban Decay. It's our 20th birthday, and to mark the occasion, we're letting you road test one of our most iconic shades. Well, what the hell is the shade? Oh, is it green or is it red? No, you're not under the influence. This trippy du duotone shade actually changes color before your eyes. So what's the color? Is it just lounge? This is the box that it came in. And this is the inside. I don't know. I really, really like this color a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Now how does this thing go back in here? Is what I wanna know. Oh, maybe that slid down in there. I don't know. Maybe, oh, maybe I have it upside down. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I think that's what it is. That is really pretty. I like this a lot. I need to see if I could find out the name of this. Um, oh, excuse me, kitty. Go off on your bag. I don't know if that's the name of it. If anybody who actually watches me seriously, tell me because I love this color. Is it just Urban Decay Lounge or is it like another name for it? This is really cool. Like I'm like mind blown just right now. Oh no, there's only one more thing. What is this? This is a Kajol. Vasanti Waterline Eyeliner, Intense Black. Oh, excuse me, Missy. Oh, no. We ain't got time for all this. Oh, my goodness. Sorry about that. She just got caught up in my phone cord. Okay. 
So this is this. I don't know if you can see it. Let me say, I have a hard time. Let's watch it over here. It's a nice black line, nice and thin. So this is the water line. So I guess it goes down here. I always have issues. My one thing that I actually use or I grew up using is the little Maybelline red stick you like sharpen it oh my god this damn cat <laughs> oh my goodness um i'm gonna kill her get out of here um so anyway i used to use this maybelline red stick and i used to like have to use the cigarette lighter to heat it up let me see if it smudges oh it smudges a little bit this is my thing so this is what it just smudges a little bit so this might actually be a decent waterline pencil because actually the brand that I use the most right now is elf and I love it not only because it's cheap I can get it at Walmart I can actually get it at Dollar Tree and I can get it in other places but it's actually good stuff there's this one pot that I use and it's like it's not a smudge pot but I forget what the technical term is just like this little glass jar with a black lid and it comes with like this uh really sharp crisp brush like line brush for you to put on your uh, eyeballs and stuff so um i've been using that and i actually use that on my water line because that's like been one of the only ones that doesn't like i need to actually use makeup Removers. I've never had to use makeup removers in my life before to actually get makeup off because I've always used the little red Maybelline that you have to sharpen, you have to burn, and then you put it on and then you look good until you leave the house and then by the time the day comes, you're like all black under here and your eyeliner is gone. So it's like, but that's what I grew up using and that's what I grew up knowing. So... I actually just started messing with eyeliners and different things this past year because I just think there's like makeup just, you know, it's all about a confidence thing. Like, I don't know how to put on makeup. I just kind of go with it. Like, I've watched tutorials. You know, I'm like, I just turned 36, okay? All of a sudden, I'm getting into, like, some girly stuff. I've always been a tomboy growing up. I've always been, you know, now all of a sudden, when I became a mom, I'm like, okay, I have to I have to dress a certain way. I have to do this. I have to do I'm still myself, but I've just been, all of a sudden, just so into makeup here lately. So, but that's that. I actually like this, and I'm going to actually try to smudge it again. And it's it's pretty good. So this will be really good for that water line. Of course, I can't do a cat's eye. I've been trying to do. Oh, and that's it. So, oh my God, I love this bag. I want to try to see if I can fit this in. Again, I love this too. I, I don't know who to... I think this is going to be my favorite. The brush is a brush, a mask is a mask. But I think that this Dirty Little Secret and I think that the Urban Decay and this is going to become like everyday stuff because like I said I usually have issues with eyeliners and that one seems pretty good I really like that brush too but you know it's funny because like I have a set of brushes upstairs but I don't know like I just use them how I I see a lot of people like they're like oh, you don't have to use the brushes what they're technically labeled for but I don't know I just follow the tutorials. I try, I try, I try. So that is finally my Ipsy bag. Yay! And I love it. I'm so glad that I got it. Oh, let's say make. Oh, makeup bag. Does it just say makeup bag? And it's got Ipsy on it? I don't know. This is cool. I like it. And again, it comes in this really pretty hot pink metallic. Better not attract the cat envelope with super sticky stuff on it um so yeah that is my makeup bag one day I might do a, um like I might do like a what's in my makeup bag and I'll just like pull 
all my stuff out and just say, okay, well, yeah, the, you know. My thing is, though, is the nail stuff. And I've actually, um, I've got, let me see right here. I've been working on this. Well, not working on it, but I've just been throwing everything in here. So I actually got in these, well, I think I showed you my nail mat from Urban Chic. Is that Urban Chic? Uber Chic. Uber, Uber, Uber Chic. I haven't used it yet because I've been waiting for certain things to come in. And I finally found liquid silicone, the stuff that you put around your fingers. So I definitely want to do my nails soon. Sorry, the camera keeps shaking. I keep hitting the table. Um, but yeah, I finally got that. And I got these really cool... I'll take one out. They're dotting tools. For the nails so you have like the big one and it goes down to the teeniest tiniest one and then the top up here they're all the same so I found these which is really cool they're like really neat looking so there's like the one size and then there's like the bigger one for the dots or whatever I guess so and they come in all these pretty pretty colors and then I also got, oh, uh, I get these at the Dollar Tree. They're a dollar. They work fine if you just need something for the weekend, something quick, even for a couple days. I think mine I wore, they're a little thinner than my Kiss brand that I use. These are the ones I have left over from last time, the Kiss ones that I had. A dollar. Look at that. Isn't that cute? That is so cute. And they work. They're, you know, like I said, they're not as good as the other ones, but you can get a decent couple days wear out of this. If you're like running late and you're like, oh shoot, I got such and such and such and such to do. I could talk right there for a second. Throw these on, you're good to go. And then these are the other ones I got. They are so adorable. I am obsessed with these things. And, I th oh, and then I got this fancy nail art brush set and my bag is ripped but that's okay so I got like all these little fancy nail art brushes that I am so excited to play with and actually you know what they all might not end up being for nail art I actually might steal one or two for my cakes uh oh I lost one of them for like water art, water pastels. And speaking of cakes, I actually have, I'm already planning out, I'm just going to throw them in there because they aren't going to go in there anyway. Um, my son's Minecraft cake is what I'm planning now. I already printed all the stuff out for it, the templates that I found. So I'm actually going to be working on that soon. His birthday's in two weeks, but I actually think I might make fondant early and just start cutting all the squares out and all the different colors. Um, I'm doing, if anybody's familiar with Minecraft, my, Minecraft, they actually have a Minecraft cake. And so I'm actually going to make the cake with.